Hey guys, this is Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to integrate Google Sheet to SMS Horizon. Google Sheet is an awesome spreadsheet software and SMS Horizon help you to send bulk SMS. So basically what we are trying to do is we are going to send SMS from Google Sheets using SMS Horizon. But the problem is SMS Horizon and Google Sheets are two different companies. Hence, there is no integration between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets to SMS Horizon. It is actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all, you have to visit the website called as Pabli Connect. So this is the website. Here click on sign in. When you click on sign in, you will be brought to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. Now bring your attention to this part called as connect. Here click on access now. Now at the right corner, you will find a button called as create workflow. Just click it. So a dialog box appears in front of you. It is demanding to enter a workflow name. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets to SMS Horizon. Google Sheets to SMS Horizon. Then click on save. When you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the Choose app, change it from Webhook to Google Sheets. In the Choose method, let's keep it as New Spreadsheet Row. So basically what we are trying to do is, we are trying to connect Google Sheets to Pabli Connect and then capture any response from Google Sheets. So to do that, first of all, click on Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is showing that it is waiting for a Webhook response. Now let's go to our Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet called as send SMS and here are the columns called as name to number, caller ID, date and my message. Uh, the name has been given Joy and this is the recipient's number. The caller ID because uh, SMS Horizon demands a particular set of caller ID. So in my case it is my text. Okay and uh, the, this is the date and this is the message called as hey there welcome to the team. So let's send this data to Pabli Connect. So first of all you have to go to this option called as add-on. Here at the top you will find an option called as add-on, this one. Click it. When you click it, you will find the option called as Pabli Connect Webhook. So as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhook add-on has already been installed in my system. If you don't have, just bring your attention to this part called as get add-on. Click this. So when you click it, the G Suite Marketplace opens up. Here just type Pabli Connect Webhook. Pabli Connect Webhooks. So this is the add-on you want, Pabli Connect Webhook. Just click it and have it installed in your system. Okay, so closing this, going back to add-on and here click on Pabli Connect Webhook. As you can see, another drop-down emerges. Here, bring your attention to this part called as Initial Setup. So the Initial Setup window appears in front of you. It is showing you two blanks called as Webhook URL and Trigger Column. To get the Webhook URL, just go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the Webhook URL you want and paste it here. Now comes the trigger column. We are going to enter the trigger column as E. Obviously your question will be why are we keeping the trigger column as E? This is because as you can see the last row of data entry is E. It basically means that whenever the data is entered into the last row, it will trigger the system. If the last row of the data entry was F, then the trigger column would have been F. Simply put the last cell of the row where the data will be entered is your trigger column. Then click on send test. Okay, it is showing that the data has been sent successfully. So let's see whether Pabli Connect has captured this data. Yes, the webhook response is showing that it has captured the data. As you can see, the name is Joey to the number. This is Joey's number, the caller ID, my text, the date and the, and the message. Hey there, welcome to the team. So Pabli Connect has captured the data. We have to sync this data to SMS Horizon. To do that, just click on this plus button. When you click on this plus button, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, change it from API to SMS Horizon. In choose method, just keep it as send SMS. Then click on connect with SMS Horizon. Okay, so here you have to fill two parameters, username and API key. To get the username and the API key, just go to SMS Horizon. Here in the bulk SMS section, bring your attention to this part called as HTTP API. Click this and click on manage API key. In the variables, you will find manage API key. Click this. Okay, so it is showing the username as Dragon Boy. This is my username. Copy this. 
and paste it here. Go back and this is the API key. Copy this and paste it here. Then click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. This means that we have essentially connected SMS Horizon to Pabli Connect. Now in the mobile required, just map in the data. So this is the data we have received from Google Sheet. Basically, we are building a prototype. So this is the number. Okay, now coming to the sender ID, just map in the sender ID called as my text. Type, let's keep it as text and the message, let's map in the message. Hey there, welcome to the team. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that it has sent the data. So let's see whether we have got any SMS to this number. Yes, we have got the message. It is showing, hey there, welcome to the team. The presence of this SMS shows that we have successfully connected Google Sheets to SMS Horizon with help of Pabli Connect. This means anytime a new data is entered in column E, Pabli Connect will trigger the SMS Horizon to send the SMS. But for your satisfaction, let's check it one more time if the integration is working fine or not. To do that, first save this. Okay, it has been saved. Uh, minimize this. Save this. Okay. And minimize this. So this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, we integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect and then we integrated Pabli Connect to SMS Horizon. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets to SMS Horizon. So let's go back to our Google Sheets, submit this and click on add-ons. Now here again, let's go back to Pabli Connect and click on send on events. This will ensure that the system will send SMS on every data entry in column E. So let's enter one more recipient. This name is uh, Aaron and uh, the number is 999358800. Caller text will be my text again. My text. Date, let's keep it as uh, 2020 10.05. This time, let's keep the message as awesome you will find fun here okay something like that so let's see whether this person called as Aaron has received any text called as awesome you will find fun here yes the message is here awesome you will find fun here so this means our integration is working absolutely fine so from now onwards whenever a new data is entered in Google Sheets an automatic SMS will be sent in real time. Also, you should know not just SMS Horizon and Google Sheets, you can integrate a ton of applications using Pabli Connect. Thanks.